All right, movie club, I'm back for the first time in a while. Uh, I've been busy with stuff over the last few weeks. My semester's winding down, so I haven't really had time to watch movies. But I'm back, and this is my review for A Knight's Tale. And this is one of those movies where I've been recommended it by, you know, certain people, but I've just never really got around to watching it, mainly because the people that have recommended it to me have usually been college-age girls, which, no offense to any of them, but most of their expectations for movies are not the same as mine, <laughs> to put it like that. Uh, but, you know, watching this, I was surprised because this is a better movie than I thought it was going to be. You know, is it a great movie? Not exactly, but it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh, I'll start off with the story. For the story, this, is, this movie is every underdog sports movie you've seen in your life. Uh... Granted, it's in, like, the Middle Ages, so that it gives them a couple different things to work with. You know, like the fact that you have to be royalty to have to compete in a jousting competition. Uh, the fact that you have, you know, and then the knight Heath Ledger right before his final term and all that. Uh, aside from that, it's pretty much the exact same as anything else. Uh, that, and they threw the love story in, which <laughs> is not an uncommon thing, and, you know underdog stories. Uh, and then, I would say, aside from the story, there is a, really isn't all that much else to say on the story. The one thing I did enjoy, I really enjoyed the camaraderie between uh, the main characters, you know, Heath Ledger, uh, Alan Tudyk, uh, who I'm seeing a lot more movies now. You know, just all of them. Uh, third guy whose name I'm forgetting the blacksmith, the lady blacksmith that follows him along, and even, you know, uh, you know, just everybody in general. Uh, as for the acting itself, uh, I can now see why, you know, all these girls my age were so heartbroken and gaga over Heath Ledger, because, I will say, as a heterosexual male, he is handsome. Uh, I would say, just, oh my god. Uh, and then it was really weird watching that final scene where they're like zooming in on his face because I swear when I saw his face I saw you know Joseph Gordon-Levitt too I mean I never realized it but Heath Ledger and Joseph Gordon-Levitt look a lot alike uh, and yeah Heath Ledger does a good job in this movie uh, but again that's not an uncommon thing uh, and I was actually really surprised it was like the uh, princess or whatever the royalty was. I don't remember, remember her name. Uh, I was say I was surprised I didn't see her in all movies because she was actually pretty beautiful in this movie too. Um, and then the one thing that I saw that people didn't like about this movie, which I understand why they didn't like it, is you know the fact that how they put so many different you know. Uh, how they put so many modern things into it. Like, the soundtrack is all, like, the 70s and some 80s music. You know, uh, at this point, they're, they're using a lot more, like, modern catchphrases. Hell, uh, the insignia on Heath Ledger's armor was the Nike symbol. And, I will say, and usually, I'm not a fan of that stuff. Like, the only other movie I could really relate it to where that was in there was Robin Hood Men in Tights, which is kind of similar, but not at all. But... This, it, I actually believe that it works for this movie. And I was trying to figure out why. I think for the most part it's because my main focus is on the music and it's like, you know, all the music is really memorable. For Robin Hood Men in Tights, and like, you know, you can take most of the parody movies today, all those, uh, you know, Seltzer and Friedman movies, is that they're taking stuff that's current, that's modern now, stuff that won't be relevant in a few years. Most of the stuff that's done in this movie is still relevant today. And will it be as relevant down the line? Probably not. But for the time being, I feel like it works. Uh, you know, there are some things that I felt didn't really work out, but for the most part, all the modern things that they put in there, I felt like it worked. So overall, I would probably recommend this movie to you. Well, more so if you're probably like a fan of like romance movies and you know, if you're not tired of seeing that underdog story, you know, I'd recommend it. Definitely go check it out.